Lose your semis. Again, three out of five. We got Egg already going in with some uh, some double shines. Yep. Supplying that pressure. Oh, he needs to watch out though. Don't want to get your enemy in the line of crossfire. Uh oh. So, let's see now. <clears throat> I'm sorry, that was oh. Mundungu triple or double shining. Yeah, Mundungu's Mundungu's feeling a little feeling himself a little bit right now. He wants to go. Look at that. Crouch cancel that back air. Shines out of it. Yeah, but right there we see Rodok going for them. They'll smash the eye out of the up air. Ooh, right through the opponent. Okay, that's a wow. double kill right there. All right. Rodok. All right. Time. Let's go. Ooh, uh, and you saw the weight. He probably had an idea there. He, it looked like he's trying to protect himself with the invincibility. But oh, yeah. yeah um, he could have, like, down through it, right? Yeah. But I guess, I guess Mondogu slipped in there too quick. Unfortunately, Rodok just uh, signed his teammate's death warrant as well. <laughs> Rodok playing on his own team kind of right now. It's really interesting to see how Kirby just fights head to head with these characters. You know, Triple R really showing that regardless of the character that he's using, he's still a great teammate in his own right. And he, he, ma he tries to maximize the potential of the character to the best of his ability. Kirby's run is ridiculously cute. He <laughs> wobbles across the stage. Right? <laughs> I, I, either you can't smash the eye out of that, or neither of them try. <laughs> they just said, we're taking this. And that deceptive Kirby Nair, very disruptive. Right? I like, has a little party time. I like how he's trying to act at, uh, you know, as if he's uh, Jigglypuff, just setting up with these back airs. Doesn't quite have the Jigglypuff air mobility, but, you know, he makes got it work. A heck of a back air, though. Oh, yeah. Man. It's actually a crouch cancel forward smashable by Mark. Uh, Rota kind of hesitating a little bit here. Not, and obviously not in a great position. He just got shined off to death by his teammate. Um, I think Rodok is maybe a little shaky. Probably. I mean, it might. Yeah, he's, he's just sticking stuff out there now, and he's getting back air oh. for his trouble. Back air, back air, back air, back air, back air, back air, up air. Man, Sick. I like that up smash that Mundungu got right there on the platform. Mm -hmm. I didn't see it coming, you know. He tried no. to capitalize on the landing from Rodok. Rodok was drifting. He's like, there's no escape for you. And just kicks him right there. That was great. Kirby proud of himself for his excellent win there. Yep, it's going to be definitely a 3 out of 5, though. So a lot of room for these guys to make the adjustments <clears throat> that are necessary for them to you know, get the victory. I'm not even entirely sure what adjustments they need to make because that game, mm. uh, you know, it, it split apart relatively early on and then stayed kind of consistent in terms of uh, how many stocks we lost from there on out. Yeah. Um, I think they, they got a, a bad start and then Rodok started playing a little panicky. So maybe if Rodok has a little bit of time to, to catch his breath. Oh, let's see, final destination. Kirby, not quite the fastest runner, so maybe it'll definitely <laughs> help out the blue, the, the, the blue team. He definitely tries the hardest, though. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, don't worry, guys, I'm almost there. Yeah. Bowser tries the least. He just skates. Oh. Lazy. I feel like Bowser has Healy's. <laughs> it's like, how old are you, Bowser? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like uh, one thing that Mundungu is doing a lot of um, <laughs> that I really like is, is standing still at times and just letting himself be in the right spot to, to receive um, you know, a combo hit from his teammate or to, to bait the other person. He takes a little second to kind of think about, okay, where am I going to be most effective? Puts himself there. Not, not in as much of a rush as Egg to get in there, you know? Mm -hmm. definitely, definitely composed, right? Has that patience. Ooh, crouch canceling the up tilt. Yeah, that percent. Mm. Oh my god, that was beautiful. The fact that you just don't see Kirby, Fox all the time, seeing any little 2v1 combo that they put together is so impressive. Yeah, their interactions are great. Uh -huh. Smart move doing that uh, run pass with the shine. Would not have gotten crap from that. That was, that was a really good aim right there with the dare. Oh! Potential opportunity right there for the Fox, and I like how Manoku um, actually didn't bite after he saw the counter, right? He instead tried yep. to keep the Fox behind him away. Yep. I really like that, too. Yeah, set up the wall. Uh, one thing that was interesting was uh, Mundungu started doing a little bit of a chain grab on Egg, and uh, Rodok, instead of 
going to help him. Turns his attention to the Kirby that was off stage. I think that was kind of a bad, uh, kind of a bad decision. You really want to get your teammate out of chain grabs. Um, that's part of part of what makes teams so strong on FD, right? Oh, but here's the opportunity right now for Egg to keep these guys out. You could see him with these multi shines. He's trying his best. God, <laughs> that has to be so what's demeaning. The, yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. Like, you get how, eaten and spit out on your teammate. <laughs> how dare you, Kirby? You know, spitting is act. It counts as assault. Just saying. Absolutely. Okay. Just get your teammate smacking in the face, covering <laughs> Kirby's saliva. That's horrible. Oh gosh. Ooh. I really wish he'd gotten that hammer hit. I haven't seen someone kill uh, with Kirby's hammer in a minute. Oh. oh, you see that right there? That's what you call uh, good teamwork. You know, potential good teamwork at least by Rodok. He saw Egg was on the other side of the stage. Try to come through to the save. But right now. I like the decision too by Egg taking that stock, noticing that Fox is better at 2v1 situations. So why not just go in there and see if he can help out? Jeez. <laughs> Let's keep going. More dares. Oh, no. Come on. Kirby has infinite dares. This, this Kirby's just out of control. <laughs> Doling them out left and right. That never, was fun. Never stops. I love it. And yeah, as we just saw there too, Kirby has the option against Fox, uh, you know, doing dare off stage and Fox meteor cancels with up B. Just dare him again. Fox is going to hang out there for you. You've got enough jumps to make it back. All the Foxes ended up off stage right there, right off the bat. I love seeing uh, Kirby's up tilt as well. It's not as disjointed as it was in 64. Still a really, really effective combo option in this game. Very strong. The decision to go to Yoshi's, I think, here is motivated, at least in part, by the desire to get Kirby off the stage and dead a little bit earlier. Getting him off the top. Um, he's at 75% now. Straight up air is going to kill him. Straight up smash is going to kill him. Even that reverse, that uh, that up B right there is enough to, to get Kirby out of there. So I think they've really identified Triple R as the main threat to their team synergy right now. Especially when uh, Triple R is at the edge. Mm -hmm. It's the scariest. But you know, right now, Triple R lost his stock pretty early on. Um, you've got Mundungu still holding on to the stocks, though. Mundungu's putting in his work. Blue team already behind. Mundungu has really, really clean ledge dashes. He's been doing a lot of ledge dashing to grab in particular, which is great. It's a lot of people, you know, expect ledge dashing to, you know, some sort of, some sort of uh, hitbox. But ledge dashing to grab is scary, man. It makes you feel like you can't do anything. Well, yeah, I, actually, that's a really, that's, that was a really smart uh, observation because since a lot of people like to stay there and block, like you said, right, it adds another layer of mix-ups mm -hmm. when it comes to uh, Fox coming back on stage. But you saw what uh, Rodog did there. He said he'll just outspace Fox, wait for the invincibility to expire, and then he'll punish him. I like it. Egg not really getting a whole lot out of uh, the multi shines that he's doing. Um, I think, you know, both Triple R, and, or I'm sorry, both Egg and, uh, or, yeah, Mandungu and Triple R are comfortable with sitting in shield for just an extra second. I don't think the double shines are getting them a lot. Great back air. I, I know you're not supposed to say great back air, but that was just a great back air. I, I have to Kirby's back air in general. It's great. <laughs> it's, it's quite good. Um, Egg has been playing really fast and accurate in this game. I don't know if you noticed, but like he's, he, I guess he notices like this is emergency mode, right? Mm -hmm. You have to make it happen. They're on the verge of getting fourth place. But at the same time, just the amount of awareness we're, awareness we're seeing from Mundungu and Triple R is really uncanny. I mean, these guys must have teamed together at least a few times before. They're both following up on these punches so well. They're oh. splitting up to the edge guard so well right there. Oh. oh man, no escape, and that is it. A 3 0 victory for Manogo and Triple R. I have to say, these sets have been moving really, really fast. Yeah, and some of the individual games have been really fast too. You know, that disappointed snap of the controller cord out of the GameCube. Oh, yeah. oh and the shrug too. Wait, but I think that's. Isn't that a. Yeah, those, those are the guys that I guess that just finished losing.